All right, agents, the new Chunks Manhunt target went live earlier today, and the Necessary Tactics Apparel event has now been switched off. I've got the full rundown on what you will need to do to get to the Manhunt target, and some other details, tips, and tricks just to get you through it all. What's going on, everybody? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and welcome back to the channel. Well, target number three of Reign of Fire Season 11 is now live. And by the way, no downloads for this one, just boot it up, plug and play. Now, Chunks is the target we're now after. And by the way, he is one of those Black Tusk heavies, AKA a Chungus. To get to him, you're gonna need to complete three control points. By the way, that's up from previous Manhunt targets, one bounty and one public execution in the Constitution Hall portion of the map. Now, if anything, this zone is really kind of small and compressed, so getting from point to point is really pretty quick. Once you get through those five items, you will unlock chunks at Tidal Basin. Yeah, Tidal Basin. And so it begins. Stability on PC was overall okay for me. I only crashed once and that was not during the final manhunt battle. But I did notice some really wonky and interesting things happening in this final battle with Chunks. Once, my character attached a cover while attempting to run, so he had this twitch leg thing going on and then there was a delayed death after that. I honestly have no clue what happened. I had to go back through the whole thing again with this skill build and this is the footage you now see. Overall, I found Chunks, just like Bantam last week, even on Heroic Difficulty, to be really pretty easy. Except for the fact that he does spawn in with shock ammo already equipped, and of course he has that damn minigun, so don't let him hit you with that thing or he's just going to stun lock you into place. Here's the last part of this battle. Watch how quickly Chunks goes down, and I was using a pretty standard skill build for this fight with a turret and a drone. All right, so this is where we made it up to the last time when I died, when I got that weird twitchy leg thing. Maybe I'll talk about that in the intro. Some strange stuff when I made it up to this last little part here. Got to kill off some of the NPCs here and then Chunks will make his appearance. Of course, he's a black tusk Chungus. Man, the skill build is still so great. Oh, explosives. Probably one of the tips and tricks I would give, probably the only tip and trick I would give for this area is don't get overly aggressive. This is a small area. There's a lot of different altitude in here and uh, you can quickly get swarmed. I'd probably just hang back, let them come to you as they will. Look at them, they just run right at you. Scorpio, yep. Kill off enough of these baddies and uh, eventually chunks will come in here. There's another explosive everywhere. Plus, they have some of these Lucy and Buddy type doggos, the ones that have the spinning 360 cannons, machine guns. Let's see if we hit this guy. Yep. There we go. Mort Cursed Kellogg. Okay. Come on. There's another one of those spooled up doggos. There he is. You can have a lot going on in here, so be careful. Explosive drones, explosives flying through the air, NPCs, tech, and there's, there he is right there in the middle. Let me put my skills on a Mort Cursed Kellogg. Once again, he's got shock ammo. Be really careful. If he hits you with that thing, he'll stun lock you. You'll stay up there and just absolutely just get destroyed. It's amazing how fast those guys move for having that much body armor on. Anyway. Man, my turret is tearing. He's not my turret. Excuse me. Drone is tearing him up. Drone killed him. Is he supposed to die that fast? Like he came out, shot at me a little bit, and just ran. All right, let's finish this area up. Scorpio still so good. Scorpio sniping. Yes. All right. One guy to go. One guy to go. I'm still amazed at these tar Look at that. These targets just run out that quickly and just die that fast. I guess his only redeeming quality is he had shock ammo when he spawned in. Really odd. Really odd. Same thing from last week with Bantam. 
I'm not going to play the final com for you, so as to let you discover that one for yourself. But again, some interesting lore and backstory going on. And, by the way, I did notice this. When you look at Chunks on the Manhunt board, he has some numbers written on the left forearm of his body armor. Now, to me, that looks like coordinates, maybe? And maybe we've got some lore hounds out there that will crack the code for the rest of us. As always, leave me your feedback in the comment section below, and I will do my best to respond. Remember to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell for more intensive Division content. You can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over in my open community Discord server, links to all of which can be found in the video description and pinned comments below. Shout out to the over 116,000 of you that have taken the leap and hit subscribe, and as always, a special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.